Hey everyone. So this is a very, very gentle introduction to the Streamlit app that is now served with white data synthetic. I'm assuming you have successfully created your Python virtual environment and you successfully install white data synthetic with the Streamlit extra as well. If you didn't or if you run into any trouble with this, please find me on Discord. I'll be more than happy to help you through it. Okay. Now, this is the general interface that we find uh, when the app starts running. It's a very uh, friendly, straightforward way for us to start learning about synthetic data and exploring some of the models that come built in with a package. The first thing we want to do is to add a training set, right? Okay, so we simply select it from our computer. I'm going to use the adult census income data set and it's now loaded. So immediately we see that this is an heterogeneous data set. It comprises a lot of numerical features, a lot of categorical features. And so we need to tell our synthesizer uh, what are those. So I'm going to choose here the numerical first, which I believe is everything. Okay, so this one. And the remaining are all categorical. All right, so as soon as you load the data and specify your feature types, you can now select types of data, of course, tabular and the model. Right now I'm exploring CTGAN, which is the latest model uh, in white data synthetic. Um, and, and then we can specify this, the model parameters that we want to use. So batch size, learning rate, and other settings such as, for instance, the noise or layer dimension, and also the regularization constants that we'd like to use. If you want to, you can get the path to where you want your model to be saved in a pickle file, but I'm just going to leave the default for now. And choose also the epochs where you want to train your synthesizer. So I'm keeping all of the defaults. So for me right now, we just click on the training process. Great, now that our model has successfully finished this training, we are ready to start creating synthetic data. So we are going to move to this tab, generate synthetic data, and we are going to specify how many samples we'd like to generate. For now, I'm going to choose simply 10. And I'm going also to change name of the new file for um, synthetic adults so that I know where these new synthetic samples come from. We have also the option to generate a profiling report for the synthetic data. This is a very useful way for us to understand the overall characteristics of the data. So I'm going to select it as well. And now I simply click generate samples. Perfect. So my new samples are simply printed on the screen. They are being saved and the profiling report is being generated. So this follows the same well, uses the same package as white data profiling. It is white data profiling. Um, and we can see all of the characteristics of this new samples, maybe some alerts that were generated and get a feel, a look and feel of how our new synthetic features are represented. So there you go, a simple and straightforward way for you to start learning about synthetic data, trying and new models, and hopefully uh, get your new samples for, for instance, data augmentation, testing your machine learning models, and endless uh, horizon of possibilities. If you find any trouble, again, please come find us uh, at our Discord server. We are always available to discuss with you, get feature requests, and whatever topics you choose to discuss with. See you soon and happy learnings.